Hello friends, today in this video I will talk about uh, the English speaking countries, uh, uh, non-native English speaking countries and native English language speaking countries and uh, which are the non-native English speaking countries where English is spoken with uh, high level of proficiency and uh, those countries where their English is uh, spoken uh, at low level of proficiency. I will talk about uh, these uh, subjects, uh, so please stay with me in this video, watch this video till end, so you never miss any point. Actually, you know that English is uh, spoken uh, all over the world uh, and uh, it is considered the international language. Uh, 1.5 billion people speak English all over the world. And out of these uh, 1 billion people speak English as a non-native, as a second uh, language. And 400 million people speak English as a first language. So from this uh, you can note that uh, English is uh, spoken as a second language uh, at high level. And uh, as a first language, uh, the number of people uh, is less than those who speak English as a second language. So, I will talk about those countries where English is spoken as a second language but with much uh, proficiency. So, Netherlands is the country where uh, people speak English at a high, high level of proficiency. While uh, the Middle East countries are giving much priority to English language, especially the countries UAE and Morocco, uh, where there less than 10 percent people speak English language. English is not given much priority or importance in these countries. Or you can say that governments of these countries are not providing facilities to their masses or citizens to learn the English language. Or perhaps they don't need to learn the English language. They are doing their jobs or everything with the help of their own language. And you know that UAE considered the hub of uh, the world, the central point of the world, where people from all over the world come to visit. And uh, business deal, uh, uh, often business deals happens there in UAE. So I think that uh, those people who know the English language, uh, uh, speak English language while traveling in UAE, but uh, the people of uh, UAE uh, don't know English language uh, uh, very much. They know uh, less number of people uh, there know the English language. So from uh, this you can note that uh, English is uh, in some country given uh, priority, in some country English is not given priority. But uh, as uh, mm, it is the business language, uh, this is the global language. So. Most of the people are trying to learn this language to get better opportunities of job, better opportunities of business because some people have the talent of international level and they want to grow their talent and they want to work on international level such as if you are willing to work in such a country where the first language is English language and if you don't know the English language. Uh, then uh, you will fail while uh, giving the interview and you will fail while getting the job. So most of the interviews uh, uh, for any kind of job are conducted in uh, English language. And uh, if uh, you uh, speak English with the good proficiency, then uh, there are the chances of uh, your selection and uh, you will be selected in a company where uh, you can uh, get a high position uh, due to this language. If you know the language, other things you can learn by experience, uh, but if you know the language, I think uh, this will be the plus point uh, for uh, your growth of your job or business or anything you are willing to do. So I think that uh, English is uh, necessary in uh, uh, some way and uh, in some country English is not too much uh, uh, important because you know that in China English is not given uh, too much uh, importance uh, and uh, people prefer to learn their own Chinese language. They do their uh, business or everything uh, with the help of their Chinese language. But uh, there are the people those are learning the language, English language to communicate with the other world. You know that uh, when you travel around the world 
you will find friends or people those don't know your native language and uh, you are not able to speak in their language so uh, only language which will make a connection between two people or two nationalities is the english language with the help of uh, this language you can communicate uh, with each others uh, it is the common language and in uh, some countries uh, there there are so many languages uh, dialects you can say those are spoken uh, beside national language one national language and other so many dialects of uh, different provinces so uh, some people uh, those who know the language of uh, some provinces don't know the languages of other provinces and uh, in this way they communicate with each other through this common language uh, you know the english language such as uh, if i give you the example in india uh, the population is uh, you know that uh, 1.5 billion people uh, living there in india and uh, there are so many states each and every state has its own culture language and uh, its uh, rules and regulation uh, so uh, some states uh, language is different from other states some although in some states the language is common but in mostly the language is different from one state to other state and uh, one person know the language of his state but he does not know the language of other state and uh, in the same way uh, some people don't know even the national language of the country uh, in this way sometimes uh, they try to communicate with each other through this common language and uh, this common language is english language as i told you that uh, some country give uh, importance and uh, this language is uh, uh, spoken and given importance in some countries such as in india pakistan and uh, malaysia philippine and in other countries i can say that singapore uh, these are the countries uh, where english is spoken at best level with good proficiency but uh, some country where there people speak uh, english language but their accent is uh, different uh, so some people like uh, british accent some people like american accent uh, if i talk about myself i like the american accent i can uh, understand american uh, accent easily while uh, when uh, i see videos of uh, british accent uh, their accent is uh, understandable but a little different from american accent so Uh, we should speak uh, english language in our own accent if uh, in the beginning when we try to speak the english language in other accents then we will forget everything uh, about learning the english language for learning english language first and uh, more important thing is most important thing is that uh, speak english language in your native accent in this way you will improve your english language and you will grow the talent of your uh, international level Uh, are you if you are running any kind of business you can grow your business on international level through the with the help of this language hope uh, you find this video useful in next video i will talk about some other topics till then allow me and before leaving please subscribe to this channel so you never miss our other videos i'll taf malik and you are watching me on my english language channel thank you bye bye